As I listen to the accounts of some of the greatest writers and public thinkers of our time and what they wish they'd learned in school and what this crisis of truth telling in our country means to them, I'm reminded of James Baldwin's powerful counsel that not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. We're at a crossroads. We're at a crossroads in our history where there is a hunger for truth, for learning, for exchange, for challenge, for transformation. And that hunger is being met by alarming and concerted mobilization to suppress the truth of our collective history, of our lived realities. And make no mistake, the banning of books and the shutting of doors to other avenues of information are a battle to control memory and ultimately a battle of narrative power of how we and future generations will see ourselves and understand and make sense of our present and our past. In this year alone, 28 states have introduced legislation that erases the truth of what students in the United States can learn and the content that they can access about our history. In 14 states, various versions of these laws have passed. Some forbid specific materials like the 1619 Project or books from many of the authors that are featured here. Other laws forbid materials that make people feel discomfort, guilt, anguish, or psychological distress. And all legislate ignorance. All are anathema to the principles of truth and learning and freedom of thought and speech and will that are the core of our American aspiration. I'm sitting here uh, at the desk of Thurgood Marshall, the first African-American Supreme Court justice and the founder of the Legal Defense Fund. He worked with a band of luminary lawyers like Charles Hamilton Houston, Constance Baker Motley, Jack Greenberg, and countless others to tell the stories of the most sordid chapters in our history in order to use the law to transform our society, to transform it to one that more closely resembles our constitutional ideals. In our landmark case uh, from 1954, Brown versus Board of Education, we told the story of the devastating impact of subjugation of black persons in this country and the psychological harm that segregation caused black and white children, something I wish I'd learned in school. And there's no way that we would be where we are today if we did not teach and tell those stories, even though they undoubtedly produced feelings of discomfort and distress. Today's fight for truth is part of that ongoing battle for justice. Without truth, there's no basis for our demands for justice. And that's why we must fight fiercely to preserve truth, to preserve history, in our public schools and libraries to expand our knowledge of history and facts so that another generation does not grow up lamenting what they did not learn in school, what they did not learn about who they are, about who we are and all the possibilities of what we can become. So I invite you to join the fight to protect truth. And there are three ways you can do it. First, you can engage your local school board and your local library board. Find out whether they are promoting inclusive, culturally responsive learning, or whether they are attempting to ban or remove books or take other measures to deny access to diverse ideas and perspectives. Second, contact your state representative. Make it known that you want inclusive and culturally responsive education in your state and that you will hold accountable any elected official who supports efforts against truth with your vote in the next election. Finally, continue to educate yourself about the laws in your state that may restrict learning. You can go to our site, naacpldf.org backslash truth for more information. We at the Legal Defense Fund and many of our allies are working on challenges to these laws in state and federal courts. And of course, we could use your support too. But however you choose to engage, I want to thank you in advance for standing up for truth, history, 
critical thinking, diversity, equity, inclusion, and freedom of thought. James Baldwin also said that American history is longer, larger, more various, more beautiful, and more terrible than anything anyone has ever said about it. We deserve to know that history in all its complexity through books and other sources of knowledge so that we can continue to chart a better future for us all.